Zumala Moto. I'm representing an agribusiness called Maima General Dealers. Livestock is the main source of livelihood among most rural communities in Zambia. In Chibombo district, where we operate from, the most commonly reared livestock is goats and chickens. However, the whole district does not have a processing facility for goats and chickens. But farmers depend on live sales on the open market, which is often characterized with instability and low prices. As Maima general dealers, we seek to resolve this challenge by setting up a livestock processing facility in Chibombo district. The facility will be privately owned to enhance accountability, but it will operate as a social enterprise to provide a stable market for the farmers in Chibombo district. Our main achievement from the time that we started operation is the establishment of 25 cooperatives that are mobilizing farmers that we are going to work with. We have so far registered the 25 and they're expected to register at least 50 farmers in each of their respective cooperatives. Therefore, a total of 1,250 farmers are expected to benefit from this project. Our target market are the peri-urban communities in the outskirts of Lusaka. These are Shibuyunji, uh, Chiwombo, uh, Mumbwa, and Chilanga. Our competitive advantage is that most of our competitors are focusing on the, um, the, the Lusaka urban market, which is densely populated, leaving out the peri urban market. So we are exploring a market which is not being explored by most of our competitors. Our business model is to supply our chickens and goats to the groceries, the local minimats, and the restaurants in these peri urban markets. We also intend to operate a business to consumer model where we are setting up our own out outlets where we are able to supply directly to the consumers. Our annual revenue is currently standing at 3.7 million as at uh, 2020, and we're expecting to increase revenue to 10 million in year two after having implemented this project and bringing on board the farmers that we intend to bring on board. Have, have you projected your operating costs after this investment is done? Yes. What does that look like? Um, in the first year of the investment, everything is just basically going to be the same because we are still doing the setup cost. But in the second year, that's where I was mentioning that we're expecting an annual revenue of at least 2 million. Our operation cost will come to somewhere 7 million. The reason is we only have a 30% profit margin because in as much as we are a profit-making enterprise, we also have a social inclination of ensuring that the farmers we are buying from are getting a better price and we are also providing can I, can them... I, can I just seek clarification? You said... 7 million. Revenue of 2 million, cost, cost of, of seven. 7. Against an operating no, cost of Revenue seven. of 10 million. Ah. 10. Oh. 10 million okay. in the second year. Okay. So in the first year, we don't expect any significant change because we still have the setup cost. But in the second year, we're expecting a revenue of 10 million, ah. a cost of operation of 7 million, and approximating a net profit margin of 30%. The reason is there is a social inclination of getting at a better price for the farmers and also providing them with capacity building and the extension services. Yeah, no, it's it's it's. Uh, I think for me it's exciting to see uh, a young entrepreneur as such as himself uh, come into the fore and with a very clear vision and plan of where he wants to take his business. So for me, quite gratifying. Yeah. Yeah. Bridget. I would have said no comment. <laughs> In a good no comment or a bad good no, no comment? comment or, or you concur <laughs> with you just ask? I'm the one to deliver the, the not so good comment. Because <laughs> sometimes we say no I comment. Mean, I am so, I, I am bubbling with, with mm. I haven't heard such clarity in a long time. Yeah. Such clarity. I mean, I, I, I was quickly running to my, to my comments. Mm. Firstly, very clear very plan. Clear. The aspect of value addition for me is just terribly exciting. Mm. The aspect of a processing plant already, I mean, I was ticking some of the boxes in my mind mm. from, is he an entrepreneur or is it, is it just business? Yeah. <laughs> and he has exactly. a perfect combination of both. Mm -hmm. yep. To identify the fact that the areas outside the Lusaka urban are actually currently not being serviced in a way. Yes, they are, but he has identified that potential. The problem box, we tick. Yeah. And so he is just... The, the model is very well thought through. I mean, yeah. the, 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 the fact that already he's thinking about the impact on community. Exactly. You rarely have businesses that are set up from the start that in and, aspect and, and of CSRs. they're benefiting the community is not benefiting. He's being selfless. Okay.